Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I am going to be talking about my nook. <laughs> I had a request from one of the subscribers that they wanted me to go ahead and talk about my nook and um, and show off the features and what kind of features it has and stuff like that. So I'm sorry it took this long to go ahead and do the video. I apologize, like I mentioned in my Friday reads, my work schedule changed, so. I have to rearrange how I do my videos now, so I do apologize for that, but I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, <laughs> let's get right into it. What I'm going to go ahead and be showing you, of course, I purchased a Nook HD as a Valentine's gift for myself. I did go ahead and go with the Nook HD in... Sorry. Uh, the Nook HD in the snowy white color, there is a smoky gray. I will, of course, leave a link down below for Barnes & Noble so that you can go ahead and look at it. It's just a, to me, it looks like a gunmetal kind of color. But yeah, there is an 8 gigabyte and a 16 gigabyte. I went ahead and went with the 16 gigabyte device as well. It does have expandable memory. You can put up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. I currently right now have a 16 gigabyte card inside. No, I'm lying. This actually does have a 32 gigabyte card. I know what happened. Sorry, it's been a while. Um, I had an extra 32 gigabyte card from my cell phone, I think. I have no idea how I had an extra one. I had an extra one. I put it in here, I formatted it um, so that I can go ahead and use it. So it's actually, there is a 32 gigabyte card in here plus the 16 gigabyte memory. To be honest with you guys, I have not used this much lately just because of my TBR list and stuff. A lot of it consists of reading books that are actual books, but I will get back to my nook soon. So on the... I guess right hand side well if you're looking at it it's on your left hand side the power key you have the ability I don't know if you can go ahead and see it's like a welcome back and you can go ahead and unlock it by just bringing sorry okay so what I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is some of the features so you have this welcome screen it says like welcome back and then you see this little Apple you put it to the lock and it unlocks it so you can go ahead and have like a pin number i have one just because i always take mine to work and in case anything happens just to kind of be password protected so let me go ahead and unlock it for you guys the little apple you can change it into like a profile picture which i'll get into in a little bit but yeah hold on so then it go ahead and unlocks it for you and this is what you see on the home screen so here at the very top where it says like good evening at March 18th you can touch it here and you can add other profiles so you can change the picture I just haven't had too much time to go ahead and play with it, so that's why I haven't done it. But there can be other people that you can add so that they only have certain protection. And in my case, I really don't need to share my Nook. And if I did, I always have my old one that I can go ahead and lend out, not to give away. But, yeah. So here on the home screen, as you can see, um, you see like some apps like Goodreads, of course, and the music. And I have Pandora, which... I did not mean to go ahead and launch anything, but there's Pandora, and then there's this little dialer that kind of goes left to right, and it shows you, like, books, so, like, there's Ted Decker, and there's Dark Dream, and then Pitch Perfect, and some, and this is Settings, and then some other books that I have acquired, and then some movies, because I do have Flickster on here as well. But what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the main reason the mo that most of us would go ahead and use the Nook is to read. So down here you'll see the standard apps. So there's library, apps, web, email, and shop. So I would go into library. 
So I'll show you like a listing of like books and if you just go up and down like I'll show you more um, on here. So for example, let's go ahead and choose a book. Well, let me download a book. Oh, okay. This one's already downloaded. So, here, my background is like a gray color, just because I like a darker color than a lighter color. For some reason, it just bothers my eyes. Even though, at, if you tap, like, at the... If you tap, like, at the top, like, let me show you. Like somewhere here, this will pop down, and if you tap on the time, this will come out, and then you can adjust the brightness. There's also like Wi-Fi, airplane mode. It helps to save battery, um, lock rotation, and then of course all settings would get to the more. The lock rotation basically means instead of it, it locks it, so when you go this way, it doesn't do this. I, of course, do not read this way I just don't like to I have it I don't have the lock on just for other reasons which I'll get to in a little bit but yeah so we have it this way and down here it gives you the page numbers and it has like a little arrow if you tap on that this little menu pops up and you can press the one that has the letters and you have the ability to go ahead and change the background the text size the line spacing, the margins, um, there's different font sizes. I am okay with the Georgia font, that's why I haven't messed with it. Um, I only change the color because I don't really like, like this is too bright for me, even when I darken it, just for me, I don't enjoy it. Um, but there's like a lighter one, there's like a khaki one, there's like a light brown one, so sorry, light brown khaki kind of color, lighter silver, white. This one's supposed to be like a white too. I don't really know the difference of it, but. And then the one thing that you can't see when it is like this color. Oh no, you can't see it. Okay. So yeah. And then the font size can go from like super big, which looks like that. To like itty bitty, which looks like that. I normally have it in this one just because I like it, and sometimes I don't like to wear my glasses at night when I'm reading, so that just kind of helps with it. Um, to switch the pages, you can just go like this left to right kind of swiping your finger around, or you can just touch on the sides and it'll change the page for you. So, yeah. Another cool thing about this is you can also have bookshelves. Um, so, you go to the library and I'll show you, you go back on your books. And you'll scroll down. So here it shows you like movies, apps, kids, catalogs, maybe. Okay, so my shelves. So you can make these little shelves, which I'll show you. I've only made a couple. It's a way just to kind of group everything together and it alphabetizes them um, automatically, like you don't have to do it. So I have like Jenna Showalter, J.R. Ward. Kelly Armstrong and Rochelle Mead are the only ones that I have so far. Stormborn, these are her like adult series because I do have the Vampire Academies in adults. So yeah, so you can have these little shelves. Um, so to kind of make one, you press down here and you create a shelf and type a name. So let's say Let's say John Green. I don't have any ebooks of John Green, but just to kind of show you, you click save. And then what will happen is it'll pull up all of my books. 
so that I can go ahead and add them on there, which I have like over 2,000, so I'm not going to do that part of it. So see, I went in alphabetical order, like it just added it on, and of course, like I said, I have no ebooks, so of John Green to go ahead and add on, but you can just click and hold, and this will pop up, and I'll go ahead and choose to remove the shelf, and another warning, and yeah. So, another great thing that I use this for is for movies. So, like I mentioned, I do have Flickster on here, as you can tell right there, and I have a lot of movies on there. There's only two that I have downloaded on my SD card that I can automatically go to without internet services because sometimes I don't have that available and that is Pitch Perfect and the lucky one. On here, it's very easy to add things on here just to kind of give you a quick side note. Like you can just drag it down and it adds it for you. Or you can press and hold and just put remove remove from tab tabletop which just removes it but it's still up here um anyway so like i do have two movies that are on my sd card where i don't need to really launch anything so for example like launch pitch perfect this will pop up because i was watching it some time ago the last time i used it so let's just like resume play so as you can tell, it's plain. But the reason I haven't locked it is so that I can go this way. <laughs> and the speakers are back here. They just look really great back here. But yeah. So as you can tell, and then you have like the volume that goes like up and down here that you can move. You can skip the movie around. So you can tell. Okay, anyways, so as you can tell, it's like one of my favorite movies, that that's why it's on there. Um, there is, see sideways, I do have music on here, as you can tell, bunch of music. I'll actually, this music's like super old, like I, this is what was on my old nook, I have a very eccentric collection of music that range from like English to Spanish to like country to like rap um, on here so you can go ahead and play music on here um, I guess I can play something for you guys so I'm sure I can do that and then why it's playing well it's playing um didn't make me to play that song but you can still go through here and kind of change the songs here so like see this country like sometimes i'll have like the picture there's the volume on this side too So you can lower it. Um, you can press this arrow up here and you can go back to like your book. So you can go ahead and like read something. And the music's still playing so like you can kind of go and it has it if you tap up here, like it has the song. Oops. If you tap up here, it has this, so you kind of erase that part of it. 
But um, yeah, here's the song. So if you want to go back to it and like change the song, so go to like a different song and then I would home key launch again and kind of read my story. So, I mean, there's more features to it, of course, um, in reference to it. I still haven't played with everything, to be honest with you guys, um, on there. Those are just some of the features that I use a lot that I enjoy. Um, off of the website, there's other, like, games that you can play on there, but I honestly have a tablet. <sighs> I have a tablet and then I have the Galaxy S3 phone, so I, I play, if any games, I play them there, like mostly on my phone, then on my tablets or anything like that. Um, on there, there is email. I still have not registered my email on there because, of course, like it's on my phone and, and on my computer and I just didn't want to go ahead and add it on there and have more of those features. You can do web browsing on there, so I know I've done a, a couple of web browsing, so I guess I can show you that. Sorry. So I'll have like that little web browsing up here that you can go ahead and browse to. I was looking at, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Wattpad, where people just kind of write stories. They're people that are trying to like cultivate their craft. Or there's the Nook store that you can shop at and it has different sections on here um, there's like the books and the magazines and all of that that you can kind of go through um, left to right you know there's more books These are the apps that I have. Some of these I have not used yet, like the Twitter and the Facebook. Like, I haven't registered them on here. I have used Crackle. It's kind of like a Hulu. Like, it has shows and movies on there. I do have some pictures on here that I was working on to change like my profile and then just like some of like me and my boyfriend I have no idea why I put them on there but I have them on there it's like super easy to maneuver on here I have not found anything that I couldn't do on it so far I do really enjoy it it's super lightweight to hold <laughs> I should mention that now that I think about it like it's it's super lightweight it's like super thin as you can see I always kind of have it in this case that I purchased, um, it kind of, it snaps into this little plastic thing and it can go ahead and kind of be like this. Um, this is a 360 case, so it can also go like this. I took out the nook from here because of the video <laughs> it's normally in here I usually don't take it out just to be on the safe side so I'm gonna go ahead and put it kind of back in so that you guys can go ahead and see so yeah on there mm, super lightweight um, so if you have like kids you can have them use it the audio is really good um, the charger the battery life on this is really good. I know that with my old Nook, it says that it would last like a day, like if you didn't do web browsing or anything like that. I guess because I had had it already for four years, something like that. Had it for quite a few, many years. Um, the battery wasn't lasting as much anymore. Like I would be reading, there's times that I would literally read like for 15 hours straight and I had to charge, I had to charge the Nook. Um, even if I left it alone and didn't do anything to it, like, it would use the battery, which was weird because it was, like, on sleep mode for some, I don't know. But this is the charger for it. It's this kind of plug. Um, I've noticed that this plug does not go 
into like my tablet that has like a similar one but they just don't fit each other it only fits the nook um it does come apart sorry that i broke it <laughs> snap in um it unplugs so that you can of course connect it to your computer when you want to transfer media music pictures if you have any ebooks i know that i do purchase some ebooks from other places like smash smashword so when i transfer them over i need to use this um so yeah this is my video on my nook hd i hope you enjoyed it i hope i answered the majority of the questions that you guys had about it um if you have any more just let me know just ask me and i'll be glad to go and let you know if you want me to make a part two to this video by all means i will there's again so many features on here that i have not used yet i will not be sharing it so i won't make another profile for it that's why i haven't really messed with my little apple profile picture um i know that there's like a scrapbooking section for it where you can kind of take um snapshot yeah it's like kind of like a snapshot type of thing that you can tear out the page and save it so if you wanted to do like online shopping type of situation like you can do that i have not used that feature yet i think it's something interesting it does have like catalogs for like different um stores on here something that i have not used either um but yeah but so far for reading for music and movies i really enjoy it like i like the 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 volume if I'm not listening to it without headphones because it does have a headphone jack on the top if you're looking at it right hand side it charges on the bottom the memory card is actually right next to it as well so yeah <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it was informative I'm sorry it's a little scatterbrained I apologize I will I'm trying to fix it <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.